Hey there, it's Mark from Race Grooves. Thank you for joining me on my Track Time channel. It's now the home for all new Track Time presentations, so remember to subscribe and turn on notifications. When I did my original Track Time The Snake Pit presentation, I had hidden villains around my custom Hot Wheels track layout. I won't spoil their hiding areas in this video in case you didn't watch it yet. Here are the cars that were tested in that original video. I cleared the track and grouped them here so as to not give away who was successful. Spoiler alert, here are the villains that were hiding in that fun video. Now they get a chance in this track time snippets video. I'm even adding two more cars as an added bonus. Boosters on. I'm going to use the same rules. Each car gets three chances and if they knock off a snake that does not take away a chance. But if a snake stops them, or if they don't make it to the winner's circle, they lose a chance. First up, Scorpedo. Scorpedo defeats a snake, so Scorpedo does not lose a chance. First chance again. I thought the snake was going to stop Scorpedo, but Scorpedo had something else in mind. Second chance. Last chance, unless Scorpedo knocks off another snake. Into the winner's circle. Successful. Up next, the Gold Evil Weevil. One snake down. First chance again. I noticed that the snake bopped Evil Weevil with his chin. Let me pinch and flare the track anyways. Pinch the side that the car is coming from and flare the side he's going to. Second chance. Second chance again. Last chance. Next, now it's time for Turboa. It's a little snake Hot Wheels car. Better watch out. Big snakes like to eat little snakes. Look how the booster picks him up and throws him into the air. Turboa has exposed wheels. There's no fender protection. Look how the axle's bent already. You can see how it has a metal base and a metal body too. Second chance. Last chance. He beat the serpent that time. Last chance again. And that's what happens when you have bent axles. Next up is the Ratmobile. It doesn't look like it has wheel protection either. They definitely stick out quite a bit too. That means the boosters are going to be grabbing right onto the wheels, not on the body. Set, go. Just when I thought he wasn't going to make it to the next booster, then he takes out a snake. Doesn't lose a chance. There goes another snake. Oh, they got him back. right into the winner's circle. Now it's time for the evil weevil in purple. The gold one failed. Let's see how this one does. <laughs> Same thing. Exposed wheels. There's not a whole lot for the boosters to grab onto. Metal base. Plastic body. Maybe a fun car to drive around, but not send through the boosters. Next, Shelby Cobra 427SC, also known as the Classic Cobra. Yeah, this one's not a creature, but since it, the track set used Serpent's Revenge track pieces, and it had a bunch of snakes, and Cobra is a snake, uh, 
<laughs> okay. Said go. What happened? Boom! Last chance. Another serpent is out. Hey, look, it's his brothers and sisters. Three snakes are out, one to go. Oh, missed. That's okay. When Robert seen me use the cobra, he asked, why didn't I use a viper? I said, well, one bad joke was probably enough. Well, let's do the viper now. It's the SRT Viper GTS-R. One of the cars flew off in the track time video too. Mm, I forget which car it was. Another one. Last but not least, it's the Snake Oiler race car from the Speed Racer movie. What a snake! That's cheating! You can't jump into the winner circle! Second chance. Denied for cheating! Last chance. He gets another last chance. So close. I can't end it like this. Okay, I'm going to give him one more chance. Fantastic. If you missed the original Track Time video, here's a link and some other Track Time channel videos as well. Thank you for watching. Have fun with your toys. Bye bye.